We like the fact that it has a lot of leaves and a decent quantity of stem. Some pak choy is mostly stem with just a tiny bit of leaf. And it all depends on what you're using it for. I find it to be wonderful in soups. I also find it to be wonderful in stir fry. So, what I'm doing is I'm doing a preliminary clean on these so I don't have so much junk in the kitchen to get rid of in terms of leaves and things. And then these guys, as I say, will go over to the side to dry a little bit. I just want, I don't want to make a huge mess this morning while I'm doing this. <laughs> and if I just leave them for a few hours, they'll... Uh, dry down a considerable amount. Though I'm talking about the root bu oh, hiccups. <clears throat> I'm talking about the root bundles. That will allow me to uh, knock the rest of the dirt off of those really easily. And uh, have them set to go in the trash. So there we go. Now, my king choy is in the brassica family, so I will try not to instantly use this container for brassicas again. Whoops, I just heard the irrigation turn on. So I have to make sure that, uh, <laughs> see what I mean? Yep. We'll give you a little extra water this morning over here. How's that? <laughs> Where'd my steak go? Steak, 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 there it is. I'm out here early this morning because, uh, oh, that's one of them that leaks, okay. We're trying to figure out which things leak here and why. I'm hoping that when I switch up the uh, irrigation to uh, the other type of piping, tubing, that that uh, will help. Uh, this particular, yeah, it, it probably will because it's probably the way this stuff is, this black tubing is not conforming really well to the, to the equipment. And because I'm watering extra into one of these other pots, I'll, I'll hand water this later with a watering can just to make sure that it has enough water. So I've got this cleared out now. And what's it going to become? I think it's going to become spinach. It's going to become a different kind of spinach than what we planted last time. Last time we planted seaside, which does really well pretty much all of the year. But there are some varieties that are specifically designed to tolerate the heat a little bit better. So we will switch today to a short cycle, easy to navigate. I call it a summer spinach. It is not something like a Malabar spinach or anything like that. We simply don't care for Malabar. And I know that's a sin to some people. They want you to... If I'm eating spinach, I want it to be spinach. Honest to God, spinach. I don't want it to be some other green. I don't have a problem with eating other greens, but it's kind of like I'm eating an artificial vegetable instead of a real one, and I just don't like that. So I am going to switch to lizard spinach. And lizard spinach will simply not bolt quite as quickly as some of the other varieties might. I don't know if that'll reach over there. Will that reach there? No, it won't. I'm just going to say I would put the water in here instead because that could use the water more. Anyway, can't have everything. So I have put a nice topping on this thing and I am once again poking with my fingers. You don't have to do this. I prefer not to crowd my spinach quite as much. 
There are times, especially when I have had older seeds that I was uncertain of, that I have broadcast. This, these seeds are a tiny bit older, but Johnny's is kind of famous for their really high quality seed. And when I bought this, uh, it doesn't say on it, uh, it usually says they had trouble with their labeling at one point during COVID. I have it written down somewhere, but it probably had 95% germination. And I store my stuff, my seeds carefully, and it's probably still at 90% germination. So I'm not too concerned. If I don't get sufficient germination, I will simply replant because we're talking about short cycle plants here. We're not talking about something that has to grow to maturity and then produce flowers and then set flowers and then make fruit and blah, blah. No, we're eating the leaves. So that's all I have to do is wait for the leaves. And this is a 28 day spinach. So yeah, in 28 days, we will have spinach. And if we want to eat it as baby spinach, it might even be sooner than that. So I am brushing the dirt over. I follow the instructions in terms of how deep it needs to be. The soil is already nice and moist. I'm going to move my water source over here, but I will sprinkle it with a watering can. One of the most common problems I see among a lot of homesteading, home growers, gardeners, all that kind of stuff, is they simply do not water enough. And this year, in many places in the United States, there is a drought. If we did not water on a daily basis, or at least every other day with a deep water, after having built up a moisture in that, in that uh, pot or bed, our plants would not grow. And I see that all the time. People will say, oh, well, we planted this and gee, I guess it wasn't damp enough. It didn't come up. And I'm like, you can overwater. If you have a properly drained bed or pot, unless you are just absolutely keeping that thing soaked to death, it's not gonna be overwatered. But it is very easy to not have germination because you don't have enough moisture on your seeds. I've done it myself. Everybody has done it at some point accidentally. You get busy with life, fill in the blank, it's, the, it's all there. But if you don't pay attention, you're just not gonna get your results you want. So, lizard. Let me see if I have a label for lizard. If I don't, I'm going to make one. As you know, I am picky about such things. I do not want to be guessing what I have in a pod. I did scrounge up some labels previously used earlier, but I don't see one for lizard. I'm sure there is one, but right now I've been reorganizing things, which means things are chaos. So, <laughs> you know how that goes. I'm reorganizing, so I can't find anything. Uh, anyway, lizard. L-I-Z-A- or D. Now, you'll notice that this is not a Sharpie marker. This is a garden marker. This one, I think, came from Johnny's. I also have some from Haas. I have also bought them from other locations. If you use a Sharpie marker in a sunny environment, you probably have more than a 50% chance that the label is going to fade over the course of the summer. Where we are, because of the UV, it fades very quickly. And there's very few things more frustrating than sitting there going, I love this variety. What was it? I don't remember. I didn't write it down. And the label has faded. So <laughs> to avoid that kind of drama, we simply use a garden marker. Garden markers have a different chemical combination that is UV resistant. So that's what we do. So we now have lizard labeled. <laughs> okay, what next? I need to harvest my broccoli that's ready. 
There's some bat raw broccoli back here that's ready. These tomatoes are looking so awesome. These are Bellarosa. I didn't have quite enough pots when I was putting these in. So I kind of crowded them a little, little, and that's an experiment to see how they do. Bellarosa is a determinate plant. They, the ones we've grown here have always been sort of small. So I'm expecting them to get about that big. These on the other hand, the, 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 uh, the Thai basil will probably get about this big, but <laughs> that's okay. Now, let's see, I'm picking out dead leaves left over from old radishes. And I'm going to harvest my broccoli. I am kind of thinking that, that everybody's getting unhappy with the temperatures. Now, it has not been super hot this spring in comparison to many springs, but I'm not getting quite as much. Now, I just did fertilizer the other, fertilize the other day, so I'm hoping that will help. This is an Atlantis, which is our favorite variety. Um, Johnny's is no longer carrying that. They, they changed, switched to sweet stem as a better variety, they said. Uh, it didn't work for us in the spring, let's put it that way. So we'll see. But I, Henry found that there were other companies selling it online. I have labels here from my radishes, so I'm going to label the two sides of the pot <laughs> to remind me what's in there. And that's got lizard, that's got a label. This has been harvested. I already harvested two radishes and handed those to Henry this morning. This thing is leaking like crazy. Yeah, that's the tubing. I will have to change that. That drives me crazy. I hate wasting water. So we had two radishes out of here this morning. I need to take care of this lettuce. I think the lettuce has best if used by date, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to harvest him so he doesn't get dirty and decide whether it's really worth taking him in. And the answer is no. They, uh, there's no thrips on them anymore, but the thrip and aphid damage was too much from the last time. So I'm just going to get these guys out of here because it's nothing. I, if I were to sort through the entire plants, I would get less than what is necessary for a small, small, small dinner salad. So it's not worth it. And that's disappointing because uh, it would be nice to have some more lettuce. They're charging ridiculous prices for crappy quality at the grocery store right now. So we've been buying it at Sam's, but we can't go to Sam's every day because, or even every week, because Sam's is, you know, an hour drive away. So, throw him away. Now, that means I need to get my labels out, and but stuck over to the side, so I remember what was in here. And this was, this was, um, Lettuce. So, lettuce is in the daisy family, as I recall. So that means I want to plant something in here that's different. And we do anything for treats, don't we? Because we love our treats. Okay, can we shake? <gasps> yes. You know, notice he has to shake with the correct hand, otherwise he does not get a treat. Can you back up? You need to back up a little bit. You're, you're too close. You need to back up. Oh, I know, Scritchy boy. You're being lazy this morning. Okay, sit. Sit. Good, sit. Down. Ooh, good down. Hmm. This one's a little harder. Crawl. He's such a big boy. He says, I have to scooch. Yay, I scooched. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Sit. Come on. Oh, big boy. Big boy. Okay. Good sit. Rufus, don't go away. You need to sit. Yeah, you need to sit. Stay. Stay.
good stay. Are you still staying? Yes, we're still staying. I didn't release you. Oh, you think you could get another one with a treat? Oh, I think you could. That was a good shake, even if I didn't. Say, I confused you.